Hey guys, Cal here bringing you another video. This one is going to be the final episode of us getting to Town Hall 6. We're Town Hall 5 currently, and after doing this quick gem upgrade, we will have enough capacity to finish up our Town Hall. So this episode will be us making the final upgrades, being our spell factory, which we need to farm for as well as getting the last 200k to fill up our um, storages for the town hall. So this will be the easy part because we already had from our star bonus enough to build this spell factory. So all that is left is for us to do some farming for our town hall. This one might be a bit difficult seeing that we only have two attacks, but when we get an attack like this for our first one, this will probably be pretty easy. We tested for clan castle troops. There was none. So now we're just going to put everything in here. So we need a 200k. This will be 80k. And uh, we have a baby dragon in our clan castle. Oh no. So we DC'd. So hopefully nothing terrible happens. But... We will have to forfeit that first match, and we only got 200, so that was a bit rough, but things happen, so let's just keep on chugging. So, thankfully we didn't use our baby dragon, but it means that we have to go looking again, and we wasted half an army camp. So, um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be a little picky here. We have 95, so we want to use half our uh, troops for our next attacks. So we're going to be trying to snipe out these defenses, sending a lot at this mortar to of course take it out because that's going to be the most threatening thing to our barbarians. And with this amount of troops spent, hopefully nothing in the CC, there is a baby dragon in the CC. So this is a bit rough, so we'll have to use all our barbarians here to even hope to get enough. Which is a bit unfortunate, but what can you do? We will probably have to gem up a few more troops just so that we can make it um, to our 700k. But not looking too lucky for our first two here, but um, this is still very quick for what we're trying to do. If you have been watching the past two episodes, you'll notice that we did indeed... Uh, only take about a day and a half to get here and if you really time your upgrades correctly you'll be able to get to town hall 6 in two days uh, if you time it correctly and boom we're going to take it out oh yes we did it so we need one more attack probably two more attacks here because we need to get to 7.5. Um, and if you have a mini or something to donate to, you can do these goblin raids. Um, but this one is a bit uh, strong for what we can do now. But if you have a baby dragon, you can definitely take advantage and uh, clear out a lot of those goblin camps and get a lot of free loot really quickly. So we're just going to keep on nexting. We're probably going to look for at least 50k, um, and that will put us at 600, and then we'll have to probably gem our last two attacks. But that's kind of just what you have to do if you're trying to get this done. This one could be done, but we are a bit, that wasn't the correct layout. That base looked a bit difficult for us to take out. We're looking for easy loot. Um, you don't want to work too hard. But if we find uh, probably something a bit lower with, uh, like a bit lower in the gold, but we have a mortar on the outside that's easy to take out, uh, we might be able to take advantage of that there. But it really sucks that we had to miss out on that first attack, though. That would have essentially already have put us there we would just be one attack away but now we're 
quite a few attacks away, and we're not getting very lucky. But we're just going to keep on nexting until, of course, we get something that we can go for almost in a uh, bronze league. And if we had pushed a bit more, and if you do have the time to push, you should probably push to as high a league you can currently just because of the star bonus, making it so that you get a lot more loot in your treasury because it's uh, you're in a league and you'll get a lot more loot from your five star bonus. But we are, of course, keep searching. This is a really long search, but we, uh, it's just not good. Man, it real. oh, here it is. Nice. Um, so let's pray for nothing in the clan castle. Good. And let's, nice, uh, go for this mortar. This one we might not even have to use our whole army camp, just because we got to target that mortar really early. And we're going to be able to target this cannon. And we can target this can. We can target all the defenses very easily and take them out. Making it so that we don't have to use our entire army. Making it so that we can, of course, do some more attacks. We didn't take out that archer tower, so we have to put one there. We're just going to sprinkle these around. Just because we wasted so much time searching, I don't want to waste more of your time waiting for these raids to end. I'm going to... And on 17 Barbarians. But we also have a Baby Dragon in our CC that we can use to get a free raid. Um, assuming that it isn't guarded or built in a way that would make it difficult for our Baby Dragon to get uh, the value it needs to take out a base. And get us to the final bit of gold that we need. But... With this one, we only use Barbarians. Um, no point in getting too excited with other troops. Barbarians will carry you all the way to Town Hall... Prob honestly, probably Town Hall 9. But uh, I think they'll be fine up to Town Hall 8. You won't be able to do 3 stars like this, of course, uh, once you're past this Town Hall. Uh, once you get access to heal spells, bar mass Barbarians become a, uh, a bit fun. But we aren't going to be doing mass barbarians. So let's go into another raid. Uh, I'm just going to gem this here just so we have a full army. And because we're only trying to get to a certain loot threshold, uh, we won't be needing our gems anymore. So we have a bit of gems to play with in case things go a bit south like last time. But this is good. This one is good here. Um, because we have an air defense right here. Uh, we won't worry too much about this mortar. We'll quickly throw in some troops, of course, to take out these archer towers. Because this one we don't really want to mess up. So we're just going to try taking out these archer towers and air defense. And this wizard tower here. To pave the way for our baby dragon. To really take out the rest of this base. We're fine leaving up this level 1 archer tower up here because we're going to send our baby dragon there. We're really just worried about um, these few buildings right here. <coughs> and it looks like we're good sending and it targets that, uh, what's it called, archer tower right away. And we will be able to get to our loot threshold. So it is quite easy to farm down here. <coughs> Mostly because... Um, People upgrade to about this level and then quit if they aren't very interesting Clash of Clans. Um, so you can find some good loot down here as long as you're patient um, and willing to wait through these long wait times as you saw earlier. But we're going to be able to make it. And uh, you will be rewarded if you're also this patient. But we are closing out. This is a, a bigger base than the other bases we fight. Usually when we fight other bases. <coughs> sorry. Uh, before, I pushed a little bit, so we're fighting like air defenses and arch towers. But early in the game, like when you first get your clan castle, it's usually only one archer tower is all that stands between you and taking out a base. And uh, that makes it so the baby dragon just like destroys those bases relatively easy with no struggle 
And like it's not a struggle here, it's just time. And we'll just drop these barbarians here to speed it up now that everything is down. And we'll make our way to Town Hall 6. And it would have taken us two days. And I recommend you guys also doing the same to take advantage of Clan Capital, which we'll be doing more videos of. Um, starting tomorrow, actually, because we have, uh, I believe, um, the clan game, clan capital raid thing happening this weekend. So hopefully this account will be able to attack in it. This one, the it'll take 12 hours to do. It's definitely before that 12 hours. So hopefully, fingers crossed, um, yeah, it starts in one hour. Hopefully... If you upgrade into it, you can participate, um, even if you didn't start the weekend as a Town Hall 6. And I'll bring you content, because I already have a Town Hall 6 ready for that. Uh, I'll show you guys how Town Hall 6 is fair in Clan Capital. But, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. This was Town Hall 6 in two days. Um... And I hope you guys learned something, and I hope you guys take advantage of Clan Capital Town Hall 6, because I think it's going to be a really big deal. Okay, catch you guys on the next one. Peace.